What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. This video, this is going to be a pickups video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And basically in this video, I'm going to go through some of these sneakers, streetwear, and some other stuff that I have picked up. You guys loved it when I did this type of video in the past. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one too. Let's get to it. Oh, and before we do that very quickly, if you are new to the channel, my name is Josh. I do sneaker reviews, all types of other sneaker content. If you are into that, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, give me a follow on IG as well. I'm very active there too so we got a lot of pickups to get to i'm gonna first start off with sneakers you guys know i review a lot of shoes on this channel but most of them i just end up selling there are very few of them that i do keep for my personal collection that's what i'm going to talk about here but let's get into sneakers starting off with this one right here i know you guys recognize it this is a delayed a very delayed w finally got myself the jound 990 v3s ever since i first laid my eyes on this sneaker i knew i absolutely wanted it i've taken l's everywhere and i very rarely do this i very rarely pay resale for a sneaker but i did go ahead and do just that i copped this from restocks and restocks is one of the biggest reselling platforms here in europe no this video is not sponsored by them in any way that's just where i chose to buy it because at the time they had the cheapest price available compared to StockX and collect but i will be honest with you my purchasing experience wasn't the greatest because from the time I ordered the shoe to the time I actually received it at my door it was well over one month but I am very happy I did buy them at the time because looking at the prices right now in my size 11 they are way more than what I paid I paid 430 euros for these and I'm sorry I didn't do a full review of this sneaker I just figured it was just way too late most of you guys have already seen reviews by now in fact I got these shoes so late that we've already heard about a new jound collab coming up but of course if you guys do want to see a full review of the shoe i can do that for you it is definitely my favorite sneaker pickup of the year so far and what can i say man these are just absolutely beautiful in hand colorway this olive color man it is just so so nice I like this green way better than the 992 Jones, that very dark green. This colorway combined with the cream outsole, the cream laces. For me, this is like one of the best New Balance sneakers, period, over the last few years. I know it's early, but I'm gonna go ahead at least right now and call this the sneaker of the year. Let's see, it is early. We might get some other contenders, but it's gonna be pretty tough to beat these guys. Moving on to my next sneaker pickup, and this one also one of my favorite pickups this year. It might be a little bit weird for most of you guys, but I love these, man. I think these are sick and these are a salomon sneaker this is the salomon acs pro advanced in the vanilla ice colorway these are just special especially this colorway this creamy white color definitely not a shoe for everyone it's extremely chunky it's very modern futuristic looking although this sneaker is actually a retro it came out back in the early 2000s by salomon and they definitely brought it back at the right time people still love chunky sneakers right now and these are proving to be a big hit because pretty much every single colorway that has released of this shoe this year has immediately sold out i'm personally tired of dunks i'm tired of jordan ones i just do not want to add more of those to my personal collection so i was definitely very intrigued with the shoe it looked like nothing else out there it kind of looks like i don't know how many of you ninja turtles fans there are out there but it kind of reminds me of shredder from ninja turtles these sneakers do not look like any sneaker on the market right now and i really like how they look on feet too it feels pretty cool to wear these shoes, not gonna lie. I get the same feeling when I'm wearing these like I did when I first started to wear New Balance before they started to get really popular. That's kind of the same feeling I have with the Salomon sneakers right now, especially this one right here. Yeah, gotta be one of my favorite pickups, the ACS Pro Advanced. And one more sneaker pickup for the personal collection. Yeah, those off-white blazer lows and especially this black colorway. I did do a full review of both the black and the white colorway. I will leave that up here. Someone left a comment on my video that this was the sneaker with the most amount of useless features that have ever been on a sneaker before. And that is completely true. Everything about this shoe is completely pointless. The laces, this extra bit at the back, the holes on the sneaker. Yeah, it's pretty much just completely non-functional. It's basically art in the form of a shoe and it's not for everyone. The resale prices on these are not too high, especially for an off-white they're selling for quite low right now but i really like them especially this black colorway because when those 50 dunks dropped last year the one that i really wanted the most which i couldn't get was number 50 that all black pair 
with the silver swoosh. I'm not gonna be paying over a thousand dollars for that shoe. So this pair right here is the next best thing. And the black pair is just a bit easier to style than the white one. But yeah, let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think of my three sneaker pickups? Let's move on to streetwear. Starting off with this jacket that I caught from Uniqlo. This bomber jacket is part of their J Plus line that they do with Jill Sander. And I didn't actually even plan to buy this. I just walked into a Uniqlo one day. I saw this and I just tried it on. And to me, this is like the perfect fitting jacket. It fits me so well. Also love this gunmetal gray color. This jacket is actually not even sold out. It's available for 50% off right now at Uniqlo, I think. So I will leave links to that in the description. You can check it out. It's a nice loose fitting jacket and it's perfect for the springtime. It's not too heavy. Just a nice piece that I'm sure I can get a lot of use out of and it's very easy to style as well. The next pickup is this sweater from Stussy, which if you haven't already guessed, is probably one of my favorite brands to buy stuff from. This sweater from the front just looks like every other green sweater, but then when you turn around, you see this crazy paisley print, very, very oversized paisley print at the back done in this orange and purple color. I love the colorway. This was a piece that when I saw their spring and summer collection, this was the one that I'm like, okay, if there's one piece that I'm gonna get from this collection, it has to be this. You guys already know the fit pick on the way, these sweaters with the jowns. I've been trying to limit myself to just one Stussy piece per season, and I, this time I had to cop this sweater. Moving on to pants, I gotta start off with perhaps my favorite pants pickup in like the last two years, and that are these Uniqlo Carpenter pants. This one is done in, I believe, a stone gray colorway, although it looks more white in person. Just love the fit of these pants. They don't come in waist sizes. They come in like small, medium, large. Just for reference, I am wearing a size large and I am six foot three. I'm really enjoying more straight leg pants. I really don't like these pants that taper towards the ankle. So I love the way these pants look. I'm probably gonna buy even more colorways of this. I don't know if this colorway is still available. I will leave links in the description. But man, I'm telling you these pants for the spring and summer I will be wearing these all the time. And finally, one more pair of pants. And this one, you guys have been hounding me on Instagram, asking me where I cop these from. I've been wearing them a lot. Definitely one of my favorite cargos pickups recently. That is from a brand called Brandit. They make these in a ton of different colorways and they're super affordable. You can get them on Amazon for less than 40 euros, I believe. I think I paid like 35 for these. They were slightly on sale and they go great. At the bottom of the pants, they have this like tie on thing where you can kind of make the pants look scrunched up a little bit. They look great with high top sneakers, especially Jordan 1s and dunk highs. And I really like the fit of these pants. They're just really nice and straight leg. And you can also never have too many pockets. This is definitely my favorite colorway, more of an olive color. But yeah, if you're looking for some nice, good quality, affordable cargos, I definitely recommend branded cargos. Once again, I will leave links in the description. And finally, the last item that I'm gonna talk about in this video is perhaps the best money I've spent this year, maybe even last year. And that is for this right here. This is the Apple AirPods Max. You guys were asking me to do like a full review of these. Well, I'm not really like a tech reviewer, so I'm probably not gonna do a good job of that. I can just tell you from an average consumer point of view, these are amazing. The noise canceling feature on these it's just absolutely insane. Like you put these on and you kind of just feel like you are in your own world. It's like pretty much all of your surrounding, all of the ambient noise just completely vanishes. I have especially loved wearing these to my gym. I feel so much more motivated working out when I have these on because I hear nothing else. I'm just like in the zone doing my reps, doing my sets, and nothing's bothering me. Yes, these are a bit expensive. However, you can get them for a lot cheaper than they're selling for at the Apple store. One really good place to get these for pretty cheap is actually StockX. Yeah, there is perhaps other headphone brands out there that have equally as good noise cancellation, but I actually really love how these even look. Like it's kind of, people have been using these kind of like as an accessory in their fits as well. I don't know if you guys have noticed that on Instagram, but yeah, I love the build quality, how these look and how they perform, yeah. This is definitely best money I spent this year. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all of my personal pickups this year. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoy this type of content, if you wanna see more of that. I can definitely try to do one of these perhaps every season. And let me know, of course, if you guys wanna see some full reviews of some of the sneakers I mentioned in this video, like the Salomon and the Jounds. Oh, very quickly, if you guys haven't already done so, make sure you check out my podcast. I do a podcast with a good friend of mine. We talk sneakers every couple of weeks. I seem to have built quite a loyal following on there. So shout out to every one of you who do listen to the pod. It is available Apple Music, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. And thank you guys so much for all of the support on the channel. And I will catch you next time. Peace.